Hello everyone and welcome back to part 5 of this ANSYS Fluent tutorial series. In the last couple of videos we did LPG fuel with two different models. In this video we are doing liquid fuel that is diesel. It has to be evaporated first then combusted. For that we are using the discrete phase element model. Uh, we click on the step, open the Fluent uh, program in different uh, window. Okay, now we check the scale first, make sure that all dimensions are okay, then check the volume, make sure that there is no negative volume. Uh, we are using pressure-based um, solution. For the model, we activated last time the energy and the uh, viscosity when we duplicated this uh, project. So energy is active, then uh, we have here the key epsilon model for the viscosity uh, we recommend also to use the uh, more appropriate renal stress model for viscous uh, flow but it is uh, of course uh, more uh, intensive so uh, key epsilon model is good enough for this model for this solution okay now we activate the discrete phase the, fee, the species first we, we are using non-premix uh, combustion with PTF so we have to define the diesel fuel in the uh, database it is C12H23 and we add okay either in mole or in mass is same it is one because it's the only fuel oxidizer is there by default we can put uh, the oxidizer temperature at 350 Kelvin now we uh, calculate the table calculate the PTF it will take some time for the calculation uh, you can also display this 3d uh, mapping of this table the properties of diesel with temperature using this uh, display PDF uh, table button here okay now we do for the discrete phase uh, model so uh, in this model uh, we are using a droplet we are using the evaporation for the droplet so here every five iterations it will update the DPM model also we can do tracking with time uh, for the steps of evaporation and combustion we can put more steps here uh, it doesn't affect the result it just you make sure you put enough sp uh, steps to cover the whole length of the chamber so it doesn't stop before uh, reaching the exit physical model we have here the evaporation effect only we don't have collision or any other model injections we define new injection create so we uh, we inject in this case the fuel diesel fuel so we put the name diesel then we have different models here single injection group injection we are choosing pressure swiller atomizer uh, uh, here is the material in liquid form and the bottom row is the material in gaseous form it's inactive so in droplet it will only activate for liquid we have liquid diesel fuel for gas we use uh, C12H23 we can uh, put 100 stream for better uh, prediction of the swirl injector here the dimensions we can take them from the geometry file from uh, SOLIDWORKS so we have the injector after 4 cm from 0 coordinates so 0 0.04 mm Y and Z are both the center at the center X axis is active while the other axes are inactive flow rate as we did in the last simulation 0.003 here we have the 
steps time we put extra time it usually ends after two or three seconds so we just put some extra the diameter is 1 mm the theta half radius of the injector is 15 then the pressure is around 10 bar we can see here in the other window the tutorial page for the swirl injector with optimizer we have here uh, the dispersion angle it's by default about 6 degree here is theta our injector is 30 degree so half is 15 we have the theory here that the uh, liquid film by high pressure uh, in the nozzle the pressure part of it converts into high speed and part uh, acts as enough energy to break down the boundary between the, the uh, liquid converted on into tiny uh, molecules that evaporate evaporize so here all default values are okay okay now diesel injection is there close okay now we can check the materials we have the pdf and we have extra material droplet particulates boundary conditioning air fuel inlet we, we did that before mass fuel inlet uh, mass flow inlet we have the flow rate we put before 0.05 kilogram per second atmospheric airflow 300 degree kelvin inlet temperature for discrete phase model we have for species first we don't have fuel and we have escape means any droplet can escape through this port fuel inlet we convert it to wall so we don't have any fuel inlet we have the injection only instead so in this wall we can either choose escape or all jet we choose here wall jet okay now the wall uh, the outlet wall the outer wall uh, you have to put the temperature negative values for the heat losses here it is reflection means any droplet hit the wall it will be reflected uh, inside the chamber then the outlet it is pressure outlet okay uh, back flow we put last time 1000 uh, Kelvin here also uh, no fuel zero then we have uh, escape port so droplets can escape from this port okay now we can set the solution methods you can put the uh, degree and relaxation you start if uh, very complicated geometry you start with first degree then go upwind relaxation factors also uh, for initialization uh, we can put 2500 kelvin for startup uh, full fuel and initialize we can also patch the temperature to avoid any shutdown uh, during the startup so patch choose fluid temperature 2500 kelvin okay patch close okay we run the calculation you might run 300 each time then check the result but uh, it will take more iterations you'll put 900 by right you have to uh, check uh, every 300 and see if there is any change in the result or it is already in steady state now we can see the uh, continuity diagram uh, for the uh, calculation iterations and for all the other factors energy viscosity uh, if it uh, goes downwards this is the white color continuity line means it is converting means the difference between one iteration and the other is becoming less and less which is the good thing if it is diverging means the difference become greater each iteration so the program eventually will stop and give you an error message okay now after 900 completed uh, we can see the results here so we choose contours set up 
we can see here I created XY and XZ uh, plans you can check in the past videos how to create those we choose temperature total temperature we can see here the XY temperature and XZ temperature is very intensive in the center the flame is shooting from the out so obviously we, we don't have complete combustion here we can also see the outer wall uh, this is the shell the outer shell of the burner okay we can see also other uh, properties such as uh, species for CO carbon monoxide emissions we can see the molar fraction that uh, in ppm okay so we choose the outlet and see we have high concentration in the center uh, so we see the XY plans planes okay uh, one more thing we can do uh, is to study the path line is very useful uh, tool here it, it show you two things the flow path of the uh, particle so we create a new rake uh, we, we can put the inlet from starting from 0x 0x y it can cover the whole width minus 0.05 to positive 0.05 then z is there so we rename uh, we can put uh, 50 lines there it's like uh, injections but uh, weightless particle so we draw mesh features outer wall outlet and the veins swirler close this is the mesh then we can choose our rake one uh, we put 500 steps we can put more just to make sure that the steps end up uh, after the exhaust display it will take some time to calculate the cool thing here is it show the path flow also it show the other parameters the change in temperature or in co emission or whatever parameter you put there with the path flow so you can see the flow pattern and see the property change with that flow pattern uh, simultaneously as we will see now in a second okay we can see here the temperature change from blue cold to red also we can see here the flow pattern we can see clearly here the swirling motion it's like weightless particle 50 particles we put there we can see how they swirl while moving inside the chamber so it, it describes very well the flow pattern inside the chamber okay lastly we can see the plots we can see or calculate uh, co emissions uh, in mole fraction or in ppm so in the outlet we just plot we can see the concentration is mainly in the center with less concentration by the edge we can also write then open in excel file okay thank you guys for watching and uh, Please give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to this channel. If you need any other tutorials, you just shout out in the comments. Thank you.